Women's rights a major focus for many watching the president overseas. The first lady encouraging Saudi women who face severe cultural roadblocks on how they function in society. And first daughter Ivanka Trump stepping in for her father at a Twitter forum in Riyadh today, pushing empowerment themes. More on the optics and substance on all of this from ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega. Two days in Saudi Arabia and President Trump never once publicly mentioned human rights and women's rights, just a passing mention in his speech on extremism. It means standing together against the murder of innocent Muslims, the oppression of women, the persecution of Jews, and the slaughter of Christians. Aides say he did address human rights behind the scenes, but publicly, his message was clear. We are not here to lecture. We are not here to tell other people how to live, what to do, who to be, or how to worship. Ivanka Trump did meet with Saudi women leaders, telling them their country's progress is encouraging, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And the first lady visited an all-women business center where she was asked about work-life balance. Her response? You need to balance and find the time. One of the basic rights that women in Saudi Arabia still don't have, they're not legally allowed to drive. Most women rely on a driver or even Uber. On the streets of the capital city of Riyadh, women and men living in segregated worlds. And even though the president didn't publicly address it, it did come up. This photo of a sea of men at a technology conference he attended raising eyebrows online. A Saudi official fired back with a photo of his own, saying the center does have women here on the second floor. And during the president's visit, country star Toby Keith held a free concert. American flags lined the stage, but in the audience, men only, women not allowed. There is one law that did recently change here. Women couldn't go to work or school or even a hospital to get basic services without the permission of a male relative. That is no longer the case, but they still, Tom, cannot travel abroad without the permission of a man in their family.